Hi everyone. How are you today? I hope you are always healthy. Welcome back to my channel. Like always, today I'm going to show and discuss photos that will make you wonder about the advanced technology of the past. I got these on various telegram channels. Please check the description to know more about the channels. Some might say that I'm being repetitive by displaying these photos. But that's the whole point. These photos are proof that a small occult elite of the history to fit their narrative. Anyway, I also have a telegram channel. There, I will share various information that I cannot share here. Don't forget to subscribe to my backup channel, the links is also in the description box below. So, without further ado, fasten your pants and let's get started. You probably heard of Nikola Tesla, but have you heard of Georges Lukovsky? Lukovsky's oscillator, the cure-all that the world forgot. The MWO is a multiple-wave oscillator. What it does is saturate the cells of the body with energy. In turn, the chemical processes of each cell are brought into balance, allowing proper repair and operation. When you use the machine regularly, it maintains the electrical health of the body at a cellular level. All chemical processes in the body require energy to take place, and the MWO multi-wave oscillator feeds the need. It is completely clear since a long time that we are beings of electromagnetic nature. It is scientifically proven, and a considerable number of diagnostic procedures are based on measurements of our electromagnetic parameters. It is absurd that these diagnoses are not followed in proper ways of healing, instead, it reduces to the use of pharmaceutical products, with numerous side effects, often creating patients with lifelong addiction, making clients for life satanic industry. Such sayings were treated very differently, and easily healed, a few decades ago. The results achieved by Georges Lukovsky and Nikola Tesla, by applying their high-frequency oscillators and vortex antennas to a large number of patients with health issues, are impressive. If you take a closer look at the photo, you will see, not only did the change disappear from the face, but also the wrinkles straightened, the skin tightened, and the hair became thick. The person not only recovered, but also significantly rejuvenated. If this was possible, then what is possible today? In 1889, Tesla identified the existence of energy that springs from the cosmos since the creation of the universe itself, and supports all life on Earth. Scaling frequencies nourish our body just like food and water, but as we experience life changes, trauma, exposure to pollution, as we age, our body cells, DNA as a receiver, lose the ability to and absorb these vital energies. In 1924, Lukovsky invented the MWO multiple wave oscillator with the help of Tesla. It generates an electric field containing a large number of frequencies almost instantly. Cells with very low vibrations, when placed in the field of multiple vibrations or multiple wave oscillator with high frequency, achieved by adding the Tesla coil, find their own frequency and start to oscillate normal through from the phenomenon of echoing. The invention has been used in many hospitals in Paris and New York, with fascinating results in the treatment of patients with complicated diseases. The results were so good that the oscillator found application even in vets in Austria, Belgium, Canada, Italy, Germany, America, Russia, Philippines and many more. George Lukovsky established a research institute, Lukovsky Multiple Waves Institute in New York, and published the book entitled The Secret of Life, 1929, in which he explains his theory of electrical properties of cells, and healing action of phi electric elves of high vibrations in function restoration biology and disease captured areas. He also published another book entitled, The Secret of Life, Cosmic Rays and Radiation of Living Beings, in 1939, The Healing Waves in 1926, The Earth in Us 1933, in relation to these topics. He also established his research institute in New York, Lukovsky Multiple Waves Institute. He has died at the age of 73 following a car crash in New York City, allegedly under suspicious circumstances. 
Why are these great men absent from our history books? Answer to yourself. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you've learned something. And, don't forget to subscribe, and also, click the notification bell too, so you won't miss any update. And, watch to the end, to avoid misunderstanding. Thank you. The Rock Bird The bird's name can be written rock, rock, rock or even roke. The popular story among travelers and merchants, the rock was a giant bird of prey, said to be so strong, it could snatch an elephant from the ground. Travelers like Marco Polo, who noted that the rock's preferred hunting method was to drop its victims from deadly heights and then attack the carcass. The Church of Mog, Kilmog Dolmen, Kilkenny. Kilmog Dolmen is one of the most spectacular examples of a portal tomb in Ireland, and standing at 18 feet, it is also reputed to be the tallest. It is known locally as Lecan Scale, meaning the Stone of the Warrior. Kilmog Dolmen consists of two huge 3.7 meters high portal stones, which form the entrance to a stone lined chamber with its 3 meters door stone still intact. The chamber is roofed by a massive capstone, which lies at a steep angle on a secondary capstone, supported by two side stones and a backstone. The entrance faces northeast, and may have an alignment with the winter solstice sunrise. Although Kilmog remains unexcavated, dolmens such as this were built by Neolithic farmers over 5,000 years ago, sometime between 3800 and 3200 BC. The monuments we see now would have originally been covered in earthen mounds or cairns. Magruith was a powerful blind druid, usually associated with the province of Munster. Among his powers, he said to have been able to grow to an enormous height and to dry up lakes and raise storms with his breath. He wore a hornless bull hide and a bird mask, and flew in a machine called the Roth Ramage, the Ord Wheel. Stories about Magruith are set in various periods of Irish history. Some say he lived during the reign of High King Cormac Macard in the 3rd century AD, while others put him in Jerusalem during the time of Christ. According to the Liber Gabala Aaron, he died during the reign of Conal, nearly 2000 years before Cormac's time. Perhaps due to this array of times and settings, poets attributed the druid with extraordinary longevity, he lived through the reign of 19 kings. His powers and long lifespan have led some to conclude he was a sun or storm god. What do you think about this video? Please like and share this video if you like it, so that more people are aware of what is happening in this world. Before I end this video, let's say thank you to everyone who took the time and energy to research this. They have done a lot for us all. Please subscribe to watch the next upcoming videos. Thank you for watching the video until the end, I hope this information is useful for all of us. See you in the next video.